Here with the sequence uh, in the top, right? Uh, I talked about all the methods here of opening, of course, and everything you can do, including taking it back. What we're going to do is we're going to continue through the sequence. We did choke, and we did the shin choke. So here, what I'm going to talk about is what will probably happen. Right? So each, each time I have to do a second technique because he knows some kind of defense or he just instinctively does it. So I'm here, I opened up. The whole key to the sequence is I've never relinquished control here. So in the absolute worst case scenario, I always have my control points and I can always just go back to position, right? So even in the first one, even if I, this didn't work out and his shin was coming under me, I was still, I just moved back here. Okay, I'm opening it up so that you can see, but I just grabbed the pant, pushed his leg out of the way and got my position back. That was a key element, right? So here, now even the, the moving of the leg here, bringing the leg up isn't really dangerous because I didn't do it like this. You know, I did it with control. I made sure I was angled at a 45 or more. I made sure that I had control of the leg. So I was here and I did it low. Okay, I control this leg here. So it's hard for him to move. I control in this direction. I control in this direction. So I went here and I went to do it. Remember, pulling the leg close if you have problems with the turn. Now, what's important is, just you can come around to this side here, to watch this side, this hand here. So I had this collar. His real, I want to say his only option, but if I, have this, if I don't have this leg, he has the option of moving out. If I have this leg, one of the things that people are commonly going to do is right here. They're going to push your knee that way, or just give resistance in this direction. So they're just going to kind of block the choke temporarily from getting super tight. So I'm here, he starts pushing. I still have this leg. So since my hand is already on this side here, at this point, I'm going to let go, I'm not as far as up as I went, I'm showing you the hand though, just here to here quickly. When I hold the arm, look at the hold I'm using. I'm cupping the back of his tricep. It's very important. So I go immediately from here to here. And you pull it right into you. Okay? Don't, don't keep it out here. Because then he can loop around and, and, and mess you up. Because once you let go of that gi, you've lost one of your, your key elements of control. So you need to quickly do it. Here, right here. Now remember, see the direction my body went when I pulled it toward me? I torqued myself back the other way, which was nice. So I'm going this way, and I'm coming back this way. And I have the pants. From here, I have the pants. He pushes a little. I'm here. I grab here. Immediately, see how low I am? Stay there. This leg moves here, and right into the armbar position, okay? So I'm torquing one way, then the other. So I'm here, holding. So now you can see why the control of the leg was important. Right here, up, he pushes my knee toward me. The finish, you're holding here. Why? Because if I don't, you can walk away. See? Escape. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping it here. The arm is extremely close. The other thing that works here, especially with the gi, is I'm squeezing his arm with my bicep. Right here. So I'm keeping this nice and tight. Squeezing my knees together. And hips up. Vicing his arm. Moving my hips up. 